As a big fix operator, now when I log into WebUI, I have access to a new application called Insights for Vulnerability Remediation. With the IVR app, I don't have to wait for the security team to send me a report of vulnerabilities that I have to access, and I no longer have to spend many hours manually correlating data within spreadsheets. Instead, directly within WebUI, the same interface I use for my other operational tasks within BigFix, I'm able to easily view the vulnerabilities discovered by Tenable, and they've already been automatically correlated for me with remediation fixlets available within BigFix. This means that I now have a clear view of the specific things I need to deploy with BigFix to remediate the vulnerabilities that Tenable has discovered in my environment. To help me with my efforts, I can click Show Summary on this screen to visually represent the data and allow me to quickly prioritize and focus on the most critical vulnerabilities based on various criteria, including Tenable's vulnerability priority rating. I can quickly filter out any vulnerabilities that no longer have any exposure in my environment, which are those that I've already used IVR to fix, and further refine the list to the most critical remaining items. With this narrowed down and sorted list, I'm going to focus on the top few. I noticed this one here about Internet Explorer, which I've recently heard has gone end of life. And can easily see the Tenable's, uh, Tenable's description of the vulnerability. I can also find more information about the CVEs associated with this vulnerability, what fixlet content is available to remediate it, what devices are affected, and the deployment status of any remediations I or my colleagues have taken. I can also initiate a remediation directly from here, but I'd like to go back to the previous list and see if perhaps I can remediate a few of these at once. I select the first, third, and maybe fifth uh, vulnerabilities here, and I click Remediate. I now see that there are 41 different fixlets available to address these three vulnerabilities. I'm able to narrow this down very quickly to the set of fixlets that still need to be deployed in my environment and can select the remaining eight fixlets or a subset if I wanted to proceed with the deployment. I can define the order that these fixlets are applied, but I'm okay with the default, so I'll just click Next. I can now define which endpoints to target for this deployment. I can target specific devices from this list or even dynamically based on groups or properties or attributes of the endpoints themselves. For this deployment, I'm going to select all these specific computers as my target, which BigFix has already determined need at least one of the eight fixlets we previously selected. I'm able to configure how this remediation should occur, such as scheduling options, whether or not to alert or message any end users that may be logged into these machines, and whether or not to reboot the machines after they've been patched. But for now, I'd like this to go out immediately, and so I'm just going to click Deploy. And then I'm done. I can monitor this particular deployment here, or go on to fix the next set of vulnerabilities.